Which is up guys, I got a different stand. It's actually pointed more up, I guess. It's not at an angle like it used to be. Um, but this is a random pack opening, as you read in the title. Um, I'll show you off the packs. We have some 95 Fleer Baseball. Got some 91 Major League Tops. I didn't say that right. It was so awkward. Got some, uh, I think it's 95. Yeah, 95 SP, which is really interesting. But um, this video is sponsored by Aaron B. Breaks. Um, his channel link will be in the des description below. I would highly recommend you guys go check him out, sub him up. Um, I think he's at like 117 subscribers. So help him get to 150, I guess you could say. That's a good goal. And um, his breaks are awesome. They're jabs quality, but he just doesn't have that many subscribers. So I would highly recommend you go over there. I guess you could subscribe here first and then go over there, but... <laughs> Um, just enjoy the video. Um, I hope you get some good stuff. I did split the packs up with my brother Aaron. My brother just didn't open up them up on camera. And he took both of the um, 88 Donruss rack packs, which I was fine with. So um, my brother opened the packs my brother opened. He got this, which Aaron, if... Um, you want this card, you can, I'll just send it to you if you want. And then this cool insert from 95, um, Flare. So that's really cool. And I'll show you the inserts, not the inserts. Well, I guess you could say the good players from the card, from the packs he opened, mostly from 88. Um, and then I think that's Mike Smith, yeah. Some rookies. I, I don't know why I put those in there. Greg Maddox. That's a rookie card, I think. Is it? No, I don't know what's in here. And Ozzy Smith, so. Hmm, that's weird. Okay, so that is a really cool card, and I am actually surprised. We got it out of here. I'll show you guys the condition. Um, there's not a separate video from where I got this from. I just opened, my brother opened this. Um... This is in very good con condition, like mine. It has a bunch of splotches in the back. It's in bad condition because I got it in the vending box and it was like at the top of the stack. So that's in a lot better condition. So I guess we'll open these packs up. And I'm very thankful that Interview Break sponsored this. This is actually my first sponsor and I'm such a low subscriber count for a sponsor, but I'm excited. So, um, here's SP. We'll do this last. Uh, you know what? We'll do 91 last. That's, that's, I like that. And then I guess we'll do 95 first. Because I really do not know a lot by, about 95, but I do know, uh, they're the modern style packs, and I like that. Um, I, something I found funny is it says, no, that wasn't funny. It is funny, but what I found funny is it says, we're estimating that this insert is one out of three packs or one out of 24 packs, or you can get them one out of every 150 packs. They really are not sure that it, I just thought that was funny. They're like, we don't know, but they might be one out of three. They might be uh, one out of 25 and they might be one out of 150. You're just gonna have to rip, rip and um, find out yourself. So I'm actually tempted to buy hobby of this because this is really cool actually and i always think the first card is numbered <laughs> i but none of these cards are numbered because they're from 95 um bobby munoz i think kirby puckett that's a nice card uh, sadly kicked out of the mlb for dog fighting um we got todd Worrell, and these cards are not sticking um i've heard they stick like bad so I've, I guess I'm lucky. I guess they were stored in a good place. Um, Jose, Mer uh, I don't know how. To Mark. Hmm, let's say their, their first name is Mike. Phil Clark. Got a um, Doug Drebeck, it looks like. Um, I really 
these they're more <laughs> way more hard to read than uh 2020 tops there's bo jackson which um i think he was kicked out for um steroids um bo jackson was the bomb though i guess these are all the three good players we got of this pack um i don't i really don't know what that insert looks like um the insert i didn't show you guys hold on where's that card where'd that card go oh it was a Griffey card. Um, I don't know where I put it, but we'll put those in here so that these are, they're really interesting cards. They're like 20 designs for like one pack. I'm just kidding. There's like 12 designs, but um, yeah, there's seven insert series, one per pack. I didn't get an insert last pack, so I have no clue what it's all about, but Every time I open that, I want to buy a hobby of this. Got Henry Rodriguez, Jim <laughs> Easton Reach, Max Suzuki, Eddie Zambrano, Hippolyto Richard. Um, yeah, I'm not good with like mid 90s and late 90s because I'm, I have most of my knowledge is in it. Uh, 60s, not 70s. I know nothing about 70s. 80s through 92. 93, actually. And yeah, maybe not 94. I don't know any rookies from 94. Um, but I, I, like, the only really good booming rookie set I know of from tops from the 90s is 93. I think it's Series 2 with, um... Derek Jeter, uh, his like, ooh, Andy Vance, like, let me get a closer pick of this. Usually I'm like, I have the cards right, right here when I'm opening, but this new setup allows me to put my hands back here, which I really like. Yep, these are, these are really interesting. Um, but yeah, so, um, Aaron B. Breaks, he has some really c cool, breaks and he does live stream breaks but the last one i bought into was a ginter break he had like chrome he had uh, it was this exclusive only online he broke some of that i'm not good with ginter because i'm not a fan of ginter but i bought into it because i got a white sock spot for 30 bucks and i was like you know what what the heck and i got some pretty good stuff but enough about that we'll look at this pack I like that they kind of contained odds. Um, oh, there's numbered cards. Huh. I don't know what they look like. They're one out of... It, one to 207. Dang. You got... There's a, there's a super... Befoil, it looks like. One out of five. Platinum power. Hmm, okay. Um, I might buy a box, hobbies of this too, maybe a couple hobbies, I don't know how much it is, but I kind of want to buy a hobby of everything in here that I've opened, not really 88 Don Russ, but everything else. Um, I guess I'll open these packs the most awkward way I could have, and I really like, this is like bringing in the modern-esque type of cards like die cuts, I got a die cut in here, the first card's a die cut, it's a foil. So this is like them trying really hard to be modern um, and put some really cool stuff in here. So here's Don Mattingly, um, Jim Thome, put that Don Mattingly to the side. Sean Green, Fred McGriff, I'm, op I'm going through these so weird. I think that's a rookie, but these are so cool. Um, and... Carlos Garcia, so uh, I would have saved this for last if I knew those odds, but it's pretty cool. We got a Ruben Rivera, it looks like, but yeah, 95, um, but I do know a lot about 91. I know Chipper Jones, and it's an amazing card. Um, I, th I, I think, well, I'm not an expert on 91. I open it, but mainly like 92 which is a really terrible set but 
I like that a lot. Um, I thought these were usually wax, but I don't know. Comment down below what the plastic packs are, if that's just new, because I know 92 is wax. I don't know if it's high number. Didn't say high number. It might just be that sweep skate stakes. Because in my last random pack opening, oh, I never got the tops, and then I just opened them by myself. I never really got back to it. You know, if we get a second Chipper Jones draft, that'll be funny. Um, Don Robinson. Okay, there's some junk. Sammy Sosa. Um, I think he got busted for steroids too. Doc Gooden, Dwight Gooden, I think. Right, I I think Doc Gooden changed his name to Dwight Gooden and then back to Doc. Doc Gooden, or they're just two different people. I have no clue. Well, I just don't want to look into it because I'm lazy, but. You know, I'm not that lazy. Not like. I eat pizza and watch TV all day lazy. I just. Don't put time into finding out if Doc Gooden and Dwight Gooden are the same person. I guess this is an extra comment that I guess I can use for another video, but. I really would. Get that out of here. Don Slot. Looks like right there. Drew Hall, Zach Morris. Uh, oh, two Don Slots? Wait, hold on. I'm. That's weird. I'm so dumb. That's my mic wit and pet comes. So the best card out of all of this was the Chipper Jones rookie. I think like a PSA 10 is going for like $40 or is that a PSA 9? Like a PSA 10 would be going for like 70. I don't know, but I know this card's going up Chipper Jones. This will, this will be my second. Wait, no, no, no. Oh, hold on. I do have another Chipper Jones rookie, but it, it I never showed you this. But I do have another Chipper Jones prospect card out of 91 upper deck that's autographed. And some of you are going to be like, eh, that's not his autograph. But um, this is his early autograph. But this card is clean. I mean, um, if you guys want to buy this from me, I'll definitely be sending this to PSA. I bought this in a $50 lot. So I got this in like like 40 Michael Jordan cards from like the 90s. And that was just super awesome. I'll have to show you guys all those cards in a different special video. But for now, I'll just show you this because, you know, we're dealing with Chipper Jones. But it's really nice. Um... Probably a PSA 9, because the corners are sharp, but just right, right there, if you can get on it. No, yeah, right there, right there, that corner. If you can even see it, I can see it on camera, so I hope you guys can see it. It's just terrible. I'm shooting in 4K. I, yeah, I'm shooting in 4K, so if you guys can't watch in 4K, then I don't think you'll be able to see that, but... Really clean and centered nicely. I think the guy specifically got this card to get autographed. But he said he got them autographed all in person. So it's an on-card autograph of Chipper Jones. He's looking a lot more like a little kid in this photo than this one. So uh, that was a pretty fun video. Open up some more junk wax on the channel. I know I've been posting a lot of modern and I, I hope a lot more people watch because I post modern and not just because I post junk wax but Aaron B Breaks has a lot of modern stuff and I hope you guys go check him out. It's very fun to hang out with. It's a really nice community. Um and you can comment 
not get banned for life. And I guess I'll see you in the next video. Bye.